A quantum computer is a special kind of computer that uses the ideas of quantum mechanics to carry out intricate calculations. Quantum computers use qubits, or quantum bits, which can exist in numerous states concurrently, as opposed to conventional computers, which use bits, zeros and ones, enabling far faster and more effective calculations. Since they can solve issues that are too complicated for classical computers to handle, such as those in materials research, drug discovery, and cryptography, quantum computers are particularly well-suited for tackling them. Numerous sectors, including finance, healthcare, and transportation, are anticipated to be significantly impacted by quantum computing. Due to its ability to undermine current encryption techniques and make it possible to create uncrackable codes, it's also seen as a key technology for national security. Since quantum computing technology is still in its infancy, there are still a lot of obstacles to overcome before it can be extensively used. The majority of real-world issues cannot currently be solved by quantum computers since they can only do calculations with a small number of qubits, often less than 100. Additionally, the great sensitivity of quantum computers to environmental variables like temperature and electromagnetic radiation might result in inaccurate calculations. Despite these obstacles, the sector has made considerable strides recently, and numerous businesses and governments are significantly funding the development of quantum computing technologies. As a result, it is anticipated that quantum computers will continue to develop and grow more formidable in the years to come, possibly revolutionizing a variety of industries. An important development in quantum computing technology is China's $100 million quantum chip refrigerator. The refrigerator, which was created in the Anhui province, can cool quantum chips to just above absolute zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. For the quantum devices to operate properly and make precise calculations, considerable cooling is required. The creation of the quantum chip refrigerator is a component of China's bigger attempt to take the lead in quantum computing industry. China has made significant investments in the advancement of quantum technology in an effort to achieve quantum supremacy, the capacity to solve problems that are intractable for conventional computers. Jinwei Pan, a physicist who has played a key role in China's efforts to advance quantum science, served as the project's director, using a dilution refrigerator which cools materials to extremely low temperatures by mixing helium-3 and helium-4 isotopes. Pan's team was able to obtain the ultra-low temperatures required for the quantum device. The University of Science and Technology of China, which has long been a center of quantum research in China, is located in Anhui province, which makes it important for the development of quantum chip refrigerator. The institution features several top-notch quantum research facilities and has turned out many of China's top authorities in the area. The presence of numerous top-tier research institutions, especially the University of Science and Technologies of China USTC, has made the Chinese province of Anhui a major hub for the development of quantum computing technologies. USTC is well known as a top center for quantum computing research in China and throughout the world. It has a distinguished past in the field of quantum research. The Center for Quantum Information and the Center for Quantum Communication and Quantum Networking and the Synergetic Innovation Center of Quantum Information and Quantum Physics are the only research centers at the university now focused on quantum technology. Great experts from all over the world come together in these facilities to work together on cutting-edge research in quantum computing and related fields. The province of Anhui is home to the variety of other research facilities with an emphasis on quantum technology in addition to USTC. Another significant location for quantum research in China is the Hefei National Laboratory for Physical Sciences at the Microscale, which is located in the provincial capital of Hefei. The lab is equipped with cutting-edge tools for conducting quantum research such as a superconducting quantum computer and other cutting-edge tools. Quantum chips are cooled to extremely low temperatures, just above absolute zero, in order for the quantum chip refrigerator, also referred to as a dilution refrigerator, to function. For the quantum chips to work properly and make precise calculations, this is crucial. The cooling is accomplished by the refrigerator by using a combination of helium-3 and helium-4 isotopes. A heat exchanger, helium compressor, and mixing chamber are a few of the refrigerator's essential parts. The mixture of helium-3 and helium-4, which has been chilled to temperatures below 1 Kelvin, is housed in the mixing chamber. The helium compressor is used to regulate the temperature and pressure of the helium mixture, and the heat exchanger is used to transport heat from the quantum chip to the mixing chamber. 
The quantum chip is put within the refrigerator and connected to the heat exchanger, which serves as a cooling system. The helium-3 helium-4 combination in the mixing chamber subsequently cools the heat exchanger, which in turn cools the quantum chip. The quantum chip needs to be protected from outside electromagnetic radiation and heat sources since they can skew calculations. The quantum chip refrigerator uses a very efficient cooling mechanism that enables the cooling of quantum chips to levels as low as 10 millikelvin, or barely above absolute zero. The accuracy and effective operation of the quantum chips depend on this intense cooling, which is a crucial aspect of quantum computing technology. Due to the possibility of breaking many of the currently used encryption techniques, quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize cybersecurity and cryptography. The majority of encryption techniques rely on the complexity of factoring huge numbers. However, quantum computers have the potential to solve these issues far more quickly than traditional computers, making many encryption techniques vulnerable to assault. However, the development of uncrackable codes using quantum computing could add a new layer of security to the protection of sensitive data. Quantum key distribution, which makes use of quantum physics to facilitate secure communication between parties, makes this possible. The transmitter and receiver in a quantum key distribution employ a shared secret key that is produced by measuring quantum states. An eavesdropper cannot intercept the key without being discovered since the quantum state's characteristics are altered by the act of measurement. Quantum computers could be utilized to create novel encryption techniques that are immune to quantum computer assault in addition to distributing quantum keys. Lattice-based cryptography, for instance, is a promising field of study that might offer reliable encryption, even in the face of quantum computers. The struggle between nations and businesses to develop quantum supremacy, the capacity to carry out calculations that are beyond the capabilities of conventional computers, is referred to as the global race for quantum supremacy. The development of quantum computer technology is thought to have reached a key turning point when quantum supremacy was attained. This would allow for significant advancements in areas like materials research, cryptography, and medication discovery. The United States, China, the European Union, and IBM are among the nations and businesses actively vying for quantum dominance. In order to achieve quantum dominance within the next few years, these organizations are making significant investments in the development of quantum computer technologies. The requirement to construct quantum computers with a sufficient number of qubits is one of the major obstacles to obtaining quantum supremacy. Only a small number of qubits, typically less than 100, can yet be used in quantum computers to perform operations. It is predicted that a quantum computer with hundreds or thousands of qubits will be necessary to establish quantum supremacy. The requirement to lower quantum computers' mistake rates presents another difficulty, due to their great sensitivity to environmental factors like temperature and electromagnetic radiation, quantum computers are susceptible to calculation errors. It will be necessary to lower these error rates to a level suitable for real-world application in order to attain quantum supremacy. With the aim of dominating the market, China has recently made considerable expenditures in the field of quantum computing. The Chinese government has built a number of research centers dedicated to quantum technologies and has allotted billions of dollars for quantum research and development. The potential for quantum computing to enable significant advancements in sectors like material science, encryption, and drug development is one of the key reasons China is investing in the technology. China's investment in quantum technology is also viewed as an important part of its overall plan to lead high-tech sectors, promote economic development, and foster innovation. China has built numerous important research organizations, notably the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the University of Science and Technology of China, to support its efforts in quantum computing research. Many of China's top researchers in the field have come out of USTC, which has long served as a center for quantum research in the country. With the help of firms like Alibaba and Huawei investing in the creation of quantum chips and other hardware parts, China has also achieved great advancements in the development of quantum computing hardware. China claimed to have created a quantum computer in 2020 that achieved quantum supremacy, although other scientists have contested this claim.